going on everyone welcome back to another video uh, if you haven't already subscribed yet make sure you do that and give this video a like as well so let's jump right into it I'm gonna be showing you guys three different ways to apply loose glitter to your nails the first way I'm just gonna take some regular gel base coat my dirty bottle it's very dirty because I use it for glitter and stuff like this so I just don't bother cleaning it Anyway, I'm just going to apply a layer of this to my nail. And if you were doing this on your own nails or somebody else's nails, you're gonna wanna prep the nail first, obviously. And what I'm gonna do is just take the glitter and dump that right onto the uncured uh, gel base coat. And you'll notice I put the cover to the glitter right underneath to try and catch, catch the glitter. Uh, it just basically went everywhere anyway, so ignore that. After I dumped it on, I did pat it on a little bit and I tried to dump the excess back into the container. But after I dumped the glitter on, I cured, finished curing that for a full 60 seconds. And then I dusted off the excess and then just applied a top coat. This co top coat was pretty much empty, so eventually I ended up throwing that out. But I did make sure I applied uh, two really thick layer layers of top coat. And I also flipped the nail upside down and held it upside down for a couple seconds before I put it in the lamp. It just helps even out the surface so you have less bumps and lumps. And moving on to the second nail. Uh, again, I'm just gonna start with a layer of base coat and I'm gonna cure this one for about 15 seconds. And I just grabbed an old makeup brush. So you can see I'm just dipping that right into the glitter and kinda dabbing it onto the nail. There's a sticky layer there, so that's what's gonna hold the glitter on. And at first I'm just dabbing so that I can cover up the whole uh, surface and protect the brush from the sticky layer. And after I've covered the whole nail by dabbing it, I'll start to rub. And they call this burnishing or something. You can see it lays the glitter flat. So you have more of like a uh, chrome kind of look. So after applying the glitter and rubbing it all in, I just finished curing for 60 more seconds. And I did this three times, so the finished product is three layers. And I'm just dusting off the access before I put my top coat on. This one didn't require as much top coat as the last method, so that was a bonus using this method. And I just applied my top coat and cured that for 60 seconds in the lamp. And moving on to the last nail. So for this technique, I'm just gonna take uh, the base coat and I'm gonna put some of that right onto a tile. You can just use a plate like anything you have laying around that you can mix stuff on. But anyway, yeah, I'm just taking the base coat and putting as much as I need. Since I'm only doing one nail, I'm not gonna mix up a lot. And I'm just adding some glitter. I didn't add as much glitter as I should have, so I had to do like three good layers and then I just took the rest that was on the tile and kind of tried to fill some in. But if you do use this method, make sure you, uh, get a lot of glitter in there. It will get kind of thicker, but I mean, just kind of practice with it, I guess, and see what works for you best. But in my opinion, this technique did give the least amount of, least amount of coverage. So that's just my, what I experienced when I did it, I guess. So I kind of did try to work with it a little bit like a builder gel just so I could keep the glitter in place and not wipe them right off the nail. And I did, like I said, do the three coats and then just take the access and try to fill it in a little bit. And again, this method didn't require a lot of top coat at all, so that was a bonus.
and I top coated that and cured it for 60 seconds and that's pretty much the end of the video so thanks for watching again make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like and I'll see you in my next video